People who divorced after only one year, what happened? He cheated. He's still with her 12 years later, so now that the initial pain has long since faded I can't even hate, clearly they had something genuine and at least I didn't waste more time with a guy who wasn't meant for me. A girl I went to school with got married while still in high school. Her parents were drug addicts and abusive. She and an older guy friend decided to get married to get her out of her situation. He offered her parents money if they would sign for her to get married at 16. They never acted like a married couple or slept together he is gay and they got divorced a little over a year later as soon as she was 18 but continued living together as roommates. Nothing went wrong, that had been the plan the whole time. No idea where they are now. He lost his job and became paranoid that I, who was working, was cheating. My job was about a 20 minutes drive away but if there was traffic and it took me 30 minutes, I was interrogated about my whereabouts. All of this took place maybe three months after we got married. We weren't married much longer after that. More shit went down but yeah. My drinking became a huge problem so they pulled the plug. Instead of being with me when I was going through chemo or even giving me a ride there and back he was paying male escorts to suck him off in CVS parking lots. Also liked to use suicidal threats and self-harm to manipulate me. She was bipolar and I didn't know. Had one really bad episode and she asked for the divorce, I tried really hard to stay married in spite of that. Not me but a woman whose husband claimed to be in the Navy because her father was, and even bought a Navy uniform off eBay to get married in. She found out when she pushed to get a VA loan so they could buy a house and his story all fell apart. I discovered that he should have married his mom instead. I came to find out that she was trying to separate me from my friends and family so she could control me like her mom controls her dad. The signs were all there and I just overlooked them. We were divorced after six weeks. Not me but a coworker started banging a guy staying at the hotel we worked at, barely went a year married to her hubby. She eventually came clean but she kind of had to when she turned up prego and didn't know who the father was. I was cheated on before and during the short marriage, and she began frequently using drugs, it wasn't meant to last long and shouldn't have happened in the first place. Oh well, hindsight is 2020, right? He pushed me into a pallet fire and set me up to be sexually assaulted so he could catch me in the act. Cool, cool, cool. His controlling side came out as well as did his only what I want sexually matters side and I had to pull a knife out one evening to get him to stop. He also threatened to stab my friends who were playing the role of my security guards when I was on campus after I had left him. Not me but my cousin divorced after 6 months the guy stole $50,000 from her dad and was a complete douche on multiple levels. Prescription drug addict. No one knew and all she did was open credit cards in my name and stocked up on prescription pain pills. Didn't even fight or go to a lawyer, just signed off on papers. I found messages from her to two different men she knew trying to convince them to come to where we lived and kill me. Also found out that she was cheating on me as well with someone local. A tiny bit longer than that. We had been dating for a while. It was good. Both our families were pressuring us to make it official. So eventually we caved. She is lovely. But she wasn't my partner. A fantastic partner for someone else. I did find my person later on and we've been happy for over two decades. We would likely have broken up anyway, again we were good to each other just not really for each other. But we had extra steps thanks to family pressure. I got shotgun married to a woman who had some mental health issues. I got custody of our kid if that tells you anything. Looking back we were already on the verge of an abusive relationship. But once we got married he said why would you argue about that, you know who you choose to marry. I want to move back to my hometown and you know who you married. The reasoning the other way around didn't hold up for him obviously. He used physical violence against me two months after marriage when I would fight this argument for the first time. I left after four only. He was convinced I wouldn't leave anymore once the papers were signed and everything escalated. He was wrong. Old roommate of mine married a gay man. Found out 8 months in when she caught him with porn. She said she expected something since they never had sex. Only 4 times in those 8 months. She was gorgeous too. She was a model. He cheated. 
I realized I deserved better. He was so angry all the time, and I was constantly walking on eggshells. I definitely settled when I married him. I had a kid before meeting him and thought no one else would ever want to date me. He hit me. I'm 4 feet 11 inches he's 6 feet 3 inches. He physically abused me. He twisted my arms burning my skin and hurting my shoulders, elbows, and wrists. He is in law enforcement. He emotionally and sexually abused me. He cheated on me with a co-worker. The unit he was supposed to be supervising read the inmates specifically were experiencing an explosion in herpes cases. 11 months. ETA he financially abused me. Insisted I not work then when I asked for money for tampons he made me wait for a while before asking me do you really need them? He beat me and negged me so much I just left him without explanation. Stupid cheating asshole. She pressured me to open up the relationship so she could date women. I did the work of wrapping my head and heart around being in a one-sided poly relationship and actually got to the point of being happy for her. Then she caught feels for one of them and decided she didn't want to be married to a man anymore. It was especially horrible because the relationship was very happy up to that point, and she pulled this shit at a time when we happened to be working very closely on a project I couldn't bow out of. He got addicted to opioids after a back surgery. He became mean and cold and stopped physical contact. He had no job and took my whole salary to manage himself. He was controlling and lazy. I'm glad I left after just 5 months of living together. We got pregnant on our honeymoon because my husband accidentally threw my birth control away. My doctor appointment was 2 weeks away and he wouldn't use protection. Fast forward several months and he was screwing our neighbor because I got fat. Not me, but my friend. He pulled the plug after 10 months. She was crazy pants. Kept her place and never moved in with him. Brought her kid on their honeymoon to Disney World and did everything with the kid, leaving him behind. Screaming at him constantly. This is why you don't get engaged to someone you only dated for a month. She cheated on me while I was at sea on a submarine in the Navy. She definitely broke my heart. Had a child and she decided she didn't want to be a mom. He left me for a woman that he worked with two months after the wedding had to wait for the year mark to apply for a divorce. She fucked another guy on our bed. Next question. He punched me. My brother and his wife got their marriage annulled after a few weeks. They both loved each other very much but her family made their relationship untenable, 